and welcome to another video tutorial with Märklin of Sweden. Today we're gonna make model pine trees. Where, when we're ready they will look like this. The pine tree grows in the entire northern hemisphere. Uh, you see here on the spinning globe that it's uh, it's a very common tree, and it has a very you know specific look. So uh, I think it's a, it's a good model tree to have in your creations. I also got the, a few uh, inputs for this video uh, from a US guy uh, telling me you use something called super gesso. This is uh, a product from Liquidex. So I, I got a, a can of this, it's uh, about 7 euros. But when I smelled it, I kind of thought, hey, this smells exactly like this. This is something I use for the flexible joints in my bathroom. You know, in between the, the tiles and the, the, the sashes, for instance. This is acrylic, uh, no, it's a kind of rubber. And it's actually very similar to this. Otherwise, I'm using um, PVA glue. But we will try out these two materials, compare them. This is 1 euro for 300 milliliters, and this is uh, 7 euros for 200. So this is 7 times more expensive, at least. My math isn't that good. <laughs> but I can tell you for sure that 1 euro, this is much cheaper than that one. So, we'll try it out to see what it leads to. Let's get to it! Well, before we can get started on the covering materials, we need a wire structure to cover. This will be made from 0.6mm steel wire, which is cut into about 20cm long pieces. And I cut four of them. I see in many videos that people are using a lot of wires, like 10, 20 wires. That makes it very hard to twist and there is really no need to do that. Four wires is all you need at all situations for HO scale. I always have a printout of the trunk and branches or in the phone like this while I'm making a tree. Now we're twisting the lower part of the trunk which has no branches. For the first branch I cut a 15 cm long steel wire. I bend it and then I insert it and twist the steel wires together so that the branch gets two wires and the trunk still has its four. Then I continue in the same manner for each branch I take a new piece of steel wire, bend it and add it to the trunk. On two third I make a single wire branch leaving now only three wires for the trunk. I make the same just below the top, so I leave only two wires for the top. In some places you can see, oh, I should have had a few more branches here. And that's a good idea, so just twist in a few single wire branches where you see that the spacing has become a bit too wide. Keep adding in single wires until you feel happy with your result. I can say by a rule of a thumb that it's better to have more branches than too few. Now, with all the branches in place and the tree still totally flat as I have it here, it's time to cut the branches so they get the same, same kind of contour as you see in the, in the photo below here. So I'm cutting these, something like this. Next step is to bend the branches around so the tree gets that three dimensional look it should have. There's no need to worry about getting this just correct now because this can be adjusted in the final placing later. Now I'm also giving each branch the right look by bending it according to the picture below. All right, time to test these materials. So this is the super heavy gesso from Liquitex. Now the benefit to use the gesso would be that the tree only needs one covering. Uh, that should be a time saver. It was a kind of nice material to work with. It's uh, possible to shape into any shape. It doesn't shrink or crack and the surface remain as you shape it. The cork was not so nice to work with. <laughs> it's uh, not very tacky to anything else but itself. 
and I needed anyway two or three layers to complete a tree. It was also kind of hard to get the surface structure I was looking for. So I'm going for my PVA glue as usual, using that in combination with sorted sand. This is what the tree structure looked like after one covering. So the leftmost is the gesso, this is the cork, and this is the PVA glue to the right. As you see, the PVA glue needs more layers, but that is compensated by the use of sorted sand. So the first step now is to cover the entire tree using the PVA glue and a brush. I use a sorted sand, which I sprinkle into the glue covering. This sorted sand is easy to make on your own and uh, there is a tutorial available on how to do it if you're uncertain. So I'm covering the entire tree with the sand and this is what it looks like when done the first layer. When the second layer is in place, it looks something like this. If you look at the particles in the surface, they're kind of tiny. I want something which is a bit more like the bark on the tree. For that, I use dried coffee grounds. Yeah, it's from my brewer. I just dry it in the oven on 50 degrees Celsius for like 10 or 15 minutes. Then I apply it in the same way as I do with the sand. I add a layer of PVA glue and then I sprinkle the grounds on top of that. This is what it looks like when it's in place. Now you can see that some of the particles or the grounds are you know, standing out in a way that you don't. So uh, then I'm just squeezing it a bit so it gets a more smooth uh, surface. The top part of the tree is painted with acrylic paint. I do mix three different colors. It's orange, brown and white. With the paint in place, this is the result. Now for the trunk, I mix burnt umber and red acrylic paint. I want this color to be a bit thinner, so I thin it with a mix of water and alcohol. I then brush it on to the entire trunk, and this is what it looks like when it has dried. Only thing that remains now is some dry brushing using a brighter color of the same tone. We achieve that by mixing a portion of white acrylic paint with the original paint. I dab most of the paint off on a piece of paper like this. With a minimum of force and a minimum of paint, I now get just the surface structure highlighted with a brighter color. Now it's time to put that foliage in place. I'm using fast set glue. I put that onto all of the branches which I'm doing. I'm doing a couple at a time, like this. The foliage I'm using is a product from Noch. It has item number 07266 and is a dark green foliage which matches the pine tree color almost perfectly. I tear pieces off from the sheet, spread it and then fix it into the fast set glue. With all the foliage in place, I use a small scissor to trim off some of those fibers that is sticking out. And hey, this is our final result. Uh, if you have any questions at all about the process or materials used here, please post them in the comment field below and I'll respond to that as soon as possible. If this video helps you with your hobby, please remember that all of this is made possible uh, because a few of you viewers are supporting the channel on a monthly basis, you know, like with only two or three dollars a month but it makes a huge difference so if you want to be one of the good guys get onto patreon and uh, set up a support account there or make a one-off donation via the paypal dialogue found in the video description below
Please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once the next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya!